Ladies and gentlemen, the name of this show is The Spiritual Side of Cannabis. And the next voice you shall hear will be that of the chaplain of the Lighter Than Air Ministries, Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. You've read about him. You have heard all the rumors. So here now, direct from the studios of the Lighter Than Air Ministries in Katati, California, stepping to the microphone, may I introduce to you the good chaplain, Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chaplain Dennis Keith Hale. Welcome again to the spiritual side of cannabis. And I'm here in the music sanctuary of our beloved Lighter Than Air Ministries. Thank you so much for joining us. Today's show is a confession as well as a primer. The confession part is the picture you've been watching on the screen is near and dear to this ministry. For that is a photograph taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and it shows a different galaxy which is called ARP273 by the galaxy counters, but never before seen a galaxy in this form as a rose with period of sequential petals opening up in the universe. And that was photograph was taken as the confluence of these planets in this galaxy joined together and had these this form and this was on a Friday and it was in December the 17th of December and on the coming of this December 17th which is the Thursday the day our show normally originates we are going to celebrate that day because that was the day for me when our good works of the ministry transcended the spirituality I felt helping people who were terminally ill, the spiritual spirituality I had looking at life in a different specter through my use of cannabis. It was also a day I realized my limitations. I, I, I became very, very ill that day. I became weak and I fell to the floor where I was working. Customers came and gathered around me as I lost consciousness. As I was out, I saw the form of the planets. I saw 273. I saw this the same picture that was now photographed and was not released, the photograph was not released, but the Hubble Space Telescope took this picture on December the 17th in the year 2010. And this December 17th, which is a Thursday, it's the Thursday after the Emerald Cup. And I'm going to celebrate it in a way I think to be of deep devotion and I hope you'll join me because that will be a live broadcast of the spiritual side of cannabis. So it's a bit of a confession for me. I've never really told anybody or spoke about this, that as I was out on that day, as I fell to the floor and seemingly lost consciousness, a different world opened up to me. And I was given a ride home and when I arrived home I laid down and as I laid down the picture etched within my eyeballs in my brain was that of ARP 273 that galaxy so there I've said it I had what I think is a supernatural experience and all the years of doing good works in this ministry and all the times I've had to be a goody goody I never really explored that. And now, now this ministry is transcending and, and helping people 
to have a moment perhaps just like I had. Because when I went home and I smoked some marijuana, I had that vision again. And since that time, since that time in moments of stress, I have returned to that same state. Not Trothamagor like like Billy Pilgrim. I often think of him, Billy Pilgrim in in Kirk Vonnegut's book. He has a spiritual life that he ret- retreats to. And I know a lot of Christians do that. We're not a Christian ministry. We are not judgmental, nor do we have any need for prophets. But we do, we do look forward so much to seeing each and every one of you at the Emerald Cup. Yes, it's the weekend of the 12th and 13th of December. And it's going to be, I believe, one of the last great moments before the madness of legalization and the crazy form this blessed sacred herb, marijuana, cannabis, will be taking. I hope there's always a spiritual place for cannabis. I hope there's always an encouragement from those vendors who will trade and make money in such things. I've already seen shameless approaches to children and teens with cartoon figures much akin to Joe Camel, with graphics that lead one to have that young feel to it. I suppose that's the way it will be. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Please visit our website. It should be on the screen now. For more information about our ministry and our galaxy and other galaxies. Good night.